Tell me if it gets better than this. It can't, bro. Look at this. Look at this road. Oh. You can chop on this thing. Look at that. Hear that? <laughs> Alright guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a lot different of a video. I'm going to be reviewing something and it's going to be on a bike, not a scooter. That's pretty crazy. I've never done that before. But yeah, right behind me is my new bike. It's a E-Ride Pro SS. If you saw, there's blue. It's completely bone stock besides the seat cover and the pegs down there. But that doesn't do anything to the bike. It just makes it look better. So it's completely bone stock. So it's going to be good review because I've already ridden this about 800 miles. So I've had a lot of time on it. I've had a couple issues, which I'm going to tell you right now. And then we're going to go out and ride it and just I'm going to give you the whole rundown. So I got this bike February, like late February sometime. And I rode it for about a week. And then in here, if you can see, that's your belt drive. So the motor does something. It spins the belt. The belt spins the chain. And there's, here, let me show you guys. I'm gonna move the bike. If you can see, that little weld is the only thing holding the case, like the, the little case thing. This, this metal thing keeps the belt in place and that little weld is kind of the only thing holding it in. It has like three of these around the whole thing and this thing popped out and it bent the whole like sprocket thing and it screwed the whole bike up. But yeah, they had to put a whole new belt drive on it and it was free because I only had the bike for a week and it was like under warranty or something. But um, yeah, that's one problem I had with it. And then the only other problem I had was the front brake uh, was put on a little weird. So it rubbed against the tire, ripped and then the brake bled out. But Bike Factory also fixed that for me. So shouts out to them. They fixed both of my problems for free and the bike hasn't had anything wrong with it since then. If you were to look at this bike next to a Suron 10 feet away, it looks exactly identical besides that uh, screen on top and the light bar. But once you look at the specs of the battery and the motor, it's completely different. So yeah, this bike has a 72 volt, 40 amp hour battery, which is super big. That's like a $2,000 modded battery that you would buy for a Suron. And then it also has a giant motor with a peak power of 12 kilowatts, which is also insane. None of those words really make sense. I don't understand them either. I don't know what a kilowatt is. All I know is this bike is super fast and it has a zero to 30 miles per hour in 2.36 seconds, which is crazy. The bike's top speed in sport mode is 60 miles per hour, and the top speed in eco mode is 28 miles per hour. Then right up here, you can switch the modes that you want. And then one of my favorite features that you had included was this. This is your regen level like adjuster, so you can either run zero regen, one regen, or full regen. And the regen is when the motor slows the bike down while uh, recharging your bike. No other bike has made that yet. I don't think a Talaria Sura, none of that has been there. I don't like wheeling with regen, so it's really nice to just turn that off, do a wheelie, and then when I wanna slow down, put it in regen so I don't have to wear down my brake pads and my bike charges up a little bit. And then speaking of charging, you also got this charging port, if I can get it out. Right there, you got a normal USB and a USB-C, I think that's what it is, charger, which is super nice to have. And then it doesn't come up because you can tuck it under this. This is your battery. You can pull it out if you want. But before you do that, you're going to have to turn the breaker off and unplug these. These are placed a lot better than they were on the Suron. The Suron had them facing up. So when you push this down, it kind of smushed the wires and messed them up over time. So that's a really good design they did. It also has this giant 54 tooth sprocket. So it gives it a crazy amount of torque. So this thing is a wheelie machine. I'm going to be doing a lot of wheelies in today's video. So that just makes it even better. But that giant sprocket, that huge motor and huge battery, it just, it feels crazy. So I think I went over most of the specs. Uh, I'm probably gonna be talking about a couple more things when I'm riding, if I forgot anything. Oh no, let's go ride. All right, here we go. If you guys are wondering why I'm keeping the bike in my house, it's because I've had a lot of stuff stolen from my garage. All right guys, here we go. It's a little bit louder than a normal surround.
One thing I did notice is it takes a little bit. Oh, there's a guy in a Suron. What the heck? I did notice that it kind of takes a minute for the regen to kick on on this bike. Like, my, like 30 minutes until the regen like really kicks in. Because my regen's on right now. It doesn't do anything. But uh, yeah, like 30 minutes and then the regen will start kicking in and you really feel it. Let's see if we can pop a wheelie. You can let me through. Yeah, this thing wheelie's crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're up. Let's go. Hold on, there's an absolutely insane rainbow behind me. I don't know if you guys can see that because I have my chest cam and I can't really turn my chest around. But oh, that rainbow is so beautiful. I gotta be a little careful with wheelies on here because there's so many police. Oh, and it's, it's a little rainy right now. I'm actually gonna cut through the bushes to get to the beach. You just can't do this with another bike. Like, it's just silent. I'm just sneaking into a neighborhood. If I was on a freaking two-stroke dirt bike right now I would be getting so many noise complaints it'd be crazy but I got to admit riding a dirt bike is a lot more fun than riding an electric bike but electric bikes have their perks like this I'm in a neighborhood right now guys I just couldn't do this on a dirt bike I can just keep this wheel up forever If you guys are wondering the battery percentage, I've gone that whole way now and I'm at 93%. The battery life on this is so good, but if you're doing wheelies and like flying and just going super fast, it does die faster than just cruising. So I like to go back and forth from eco mode, sport mode. And if you're using your regen, you do save like 15%, I think somebody told me, but I'm not sure, I haven't tested that. But the battery life is super good. I think on eco mode, you'll get 90 miles. I don't know how much on sport mode, it really depends on how you're riding. But you can get as much battery life as you really need. Just ride slow and not super aggressive. But I would rather lose battery than not wheelie. Knee knocker, let's go. Oh, there's a car. A little bit of front brake and a lot of throttle. <laughs> Oh, that's so fun. Oh, if you guys are wondering how much I got this for, I don't think I mentioned that yet. It costs 5K, brand new, out of the box. I think it's $4,899. So it's a pretty good deal for what you get. I would not pick any other bike. For where I live, I just could not be doing this on a dirt bike, especially on a military base. I would be getting pulled over so fast. I already do on this thing, but... A little jump right there. It's not nearly as bad as on a dirt bike. Absolutely crazy. These roads are horrible. Oh my goodness. You can just go everywhere. There's, there's no boundaries. No gears to worry about. No stalling. No clutch. Doesn't have any friggin' noises, but I mean, you gotta like, I don't know, you gotta have two bikes. Oh, that road looks so nice to wheelie on. Hold on. Tell me if it gets better than this. It can't, bro. Look at this. Look at this road. Oh. Give 
you can chop on this thing. Look at that. Hear that? <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh. Chopped a little too hard. Oh my gosh, dude, it's so much fun. Oh, love it. Like that kid is just staring me down. He loves it. Can I go through the stop sign? I don't want to drop the wheel. Screw it. Oh, no. oh, I dropped the wheel anyway. That was that was a freaking that was embarrassing. Like, dude, I'm riding by myself right now, and I'm having the time of my life. I'm also riding down the wrong side of the road, but I mean, who cares, dude? It's electric, officer. It doesn't matter. We're still going. Oh my goodness, we're still going. Oh, no we're not. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? End off the video. Gotta look out the thorns right here. Just don't look at all, this is a nice spot. Oh, this is a nice spot. Oh my gosh. I think I've given you guys about every reason you need to get one of these. Dude, if I haven't convinced you guys to get a bike yet, I don't know what else will. I'm still learning how to get around corners and stuff good, but uh, I've only had this thing for like a month. It's the easiest bike to wheelie, dude. All right, guys. If you're not yet, like and subscribe, turn post notifications on, and I will see you guys in the next video. Let's go!